Calcium is an essential mineral for bones. In fact, it's the main component of our bones. It's also very rich in milk, so we tend to think drink milk, strong bones. Actually, there's very little correlation between the amount of milk consumed and the rate of bone health or osteoporosis. And one of the reasons for this is you can't use calcium without vitamin D. So supplements just giving calcium haven't been shown to work on the whole for strengthening bones. You've also got to have vitamin D. You also need magnesium. And one of the richest sources of calcium other than dairy products are nuts and seeds, which are naturally very rich in calcium and magnesium. Almonds are very, very good. Sesame seeds are very, very good. So these are the foods that are going to give you calcium. If you have too much calcium without magnesium, it can actually be worse for your cardiovascular health than better. And this may be because you need the two to get the right pressure. Uh, they control the muscles in the arteries. So calcium isn't something you really want to take on its own. So a decent multivitamin should give you both calcium and magnesium, maybe 300 milligrams of calcium, 200 milligrams of magnesium, but not a lot of difference between them. In fact, of all the minerals, calcium is the one that most people do achieve the basic RDA type level because we consume a lot of dairy products. If you have less, have nuts and seeds, make sure you get a little bit in the supplement. It's an essential mineral, but most of us aren't really lacking it too much.